Are raccoons evolving into pets? Lots of articles and videos lately say yes. Well, the real answer is maybe? Question mark, question mark. Researchers wanted to compare urban raccoons with their country cousins for signs of domestication, so they took a bunch of crowdsourced photographs from iNaturalist.org, weeded out potential multiples, then applied criteria like this, and ended up with a grand total of 250 pics, from which they estimated the city raccoons had snouts that were, on average, approximately 3.5% shorter and potentially evidence of the neural crest domestication syndrome hypothesis. For reference, that 3.5% snout difference looks like this. Just kidding, it looks like this. Now, these researchers hope their results will contribute to the discussion of this hypothesis and would like to research it further. These headlines, though? Come on, Internet. Now, would I like to see a world where I can own an unpredictable and extremely dexterous wild animal that can climb anything, open any door, drawer, cabinet, and refrigerator, that can tear apart furniture, mattresses, carpet, drapes, blinds, lamps, and clothing, that likes to hide food, that has poop with human-harming parasites, and that's occasionally aggressive and considered illegal to keep as a pet in all of Canada and about 34 states in the U.S.? Maybe? Question mark, question mark.